I don't want you to fail when you are starting out your, on, your online business, okay? So I'm going to tell you the important things that you need to focus on, okay? Let's get started, okay? Number one uh, is traffic. Number two is conversion, okay? Let me explain to you the two different things and then we'll move on to number three, okay? Uh, number three is not so important. That's why it's not on this page, but let me just get started, okay? Number one, traffic, okay? So you need to have traffic. If you, if you can't get traffic, uh, you need to buy traffic or you need to borrow traffic somewhere, okay? So if you want to buy traffic, obviously you can run ads, okay? Simple as that. But if you're a beginner, you probably don't want to do that, okay? Just letting you know. We want to have slow and steady growth first. And then once we have proven out the model and we know it works and produces money, then we scale, scale it up with ads, okay? That's number one, okay? So don't risk yourself if there's no need to do so, okay? Number two, uh, after you buy ads, right, you can possibly rent, uh, rent traffic, okay? So how can you rent traffic? Okay, you can rent traffic by going to someone who is already an influencer, who already has a brand online, okay? They already have an email list or an audience and you share with the profits of them. So you go to them, for example, and then you, you say that, hey, uh, Mr. X, okay, Mr. X, I want to partner with you. Uh, can you possibly uh, come on a webinar with me and you and promote your audience? Okay, if your audience buys anything, I will give you, for example, 40% of all of the sales that come through, for example, okay? So if, if you don't have an audience, you technically can rent from someone else because you are partnering with them. You give them a percentage of the profits from the business, uh, right? And then you can uh, move forward as well. Okay, so technically you don't have to start from scratch all the time if you don't have to. You can borrow someone else's authority. Does that make sense? Okay, so that is buy. Sorry, that is buy and then rent. Okay, and then the last one obviously is build. Okay, so if you are building traffic, for example, you're doing exactly what I'm doing right here. Okay, you're producing free content. You're putting it out into the internet and then uh, there are people in traffic seeing that, that content and then using it and then becoming a customer so on and so forth. Okay, so you can buy, rent and build. Obviously, buying and renting is going to take much faster, right? These people already have established networks. Uh, they already have the traffic in place. You're just taking their traffic and taking it to yours, okay? However, this one costs money, okay? This one costs connections, okay? So if you don't have connections or you don't have money, right? Then you have to build your own traffic, okay? It's simple as that, okay? So then again, uh, that's how you solve traffic, okay? Afterwards, you need to solve conversion or acquisition, Okay, if you do not solve acquisition and you only have traffic, right? Uh, technically, uh, you're not a business. Okay, you are a hobby. Okay, a lot of people cannot come to grips with this thing, but uh, yes, if you're not making money or not making revenue, right? It's just a hobby yet. Okay, so you need to acquire that traffic. You need to turn it into money, right? So this could be having, okay, what I mean by sales conversations. Okay, so do you have conversations in place where you're talking to a customer, a prospect or a lead, and then you're getting them from a cold customer and potentially interested to basically becoming a paying customer into money, okay? So are you? how are you doing that? Are you doing that by a sales call, okay? So for example, a lead books into your calendar, you come on a call, you close them, uh, and then uh, money is being entered into your bank account, right? That's number one, okay? Number two, are you using an automated checkout? So this is most likely in an online course format or you are selling e-commerce. So e-commerce or automated checkouts, right? Uh, people can just buy the thing without talking to anybody. You can put in the credit card and immediately uh, they buy, okay? So like what is your mode of acquisition? Is it a sales call? Is it an automated checkout, okay? So in the traffic stage, I forgot to tell you one more thing. Uh, you need to focus on uh, like how do you convert people who are hanging around the internet and then you bring them into interested phase. Okay, so they are just hanging around, right? They're doing nothing. How do you bring them from doing nothing to being interested in your in your stuff? Okay, and that is why uh, the content piece needs to uh, be relevant to their problems and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so traffic and acquisition. If you actually uh, start, right? You are a beginner entrepreneur, you start. Boom, boom. Okay, and you actually manage to bring in money. Congratulations, you have finished the, like, the hardest part of the process. Okay, like, th like these two things, are the hardest thing of the business. It takes the most amount of effort, okay? Uh, let me prove it to you as well, okay? Sorry, <laughs> number three is fulfillment. Uh, traffic and acquisition is the most expensive and hardest thing because if you know anything about the VC world, for example, venture capital world, did you know that 40% of, of all VC funds go to Facebook and Google, okay? So for example, if you see on the news, right, uh, people raise money and stuff like that, okay? They raise at a, a $40 million valuation and they raise $6 million, for example. Did you know that 40% of this goes directly to Facebook ads? 
goes directly to Google Ads, okay? And that is why distribution nowadays in today's economy is the most expensive thing. People nowadays don't even look for great products anymore. They look if there is distribution, and if there's distribution, if there's an audience there, right, it's very, very easy to sell and monetize the audience, okay? So if you really talk to any of the big guys, right, it's really that. If you have the, the distribution, uh, b building the product is not that difficult, right? Put a bunch of developers, uh, put a, a bunch of people up there, go to the factory, order some product, create the online course, etc., etc., and sell the thing. A lot of people cannot crack traffic and acquisition. And that is why, this is why I tell you to really focus on these things. Okay, you need to focus on these things. Okay? Okay, so number three, okay, I've spilled the, the secrets already. Uh, but number three is fulfillment. Okay, let me explain to you why this is number three. Okay, as a beginner entrepreneur, right, uh, people think, um, okay, how do I do this? How do I fulfill the product? So for example, if you sold something and then you're like, oh shit, I can't fulfill it. Okay, it, it actually doesn't matter because you, you, you're going to figure it out. Okay, you're going to figure it out. And the reason why people uh, cannot get the business up and running is because they never, they never get this part up and running. They don't bring in money fast enough for it to be a viable business. However, if you bring in money first, you're going to figure out how to do this. You're going to build it. You're going to pay someone to do it. Okay, most of the time. Okay, and so that is why fulfillment, even though it's very, very important for customer success and customer satisfaction, uh, it is the number three thing and not number one and two. Okay, so fulfillment, what is fulfillment? This is, okay, what are the steps that we need to take, right? For the customer to be happy, for the customer to have uh, their result, the outcome that they want, right? And for them to be able to recommend them uh, them to us. Okay, so if, if the customer after uh, buying from us, right, they and then we provide them the service, we give them the product, and they are happy, they have the result or outcome that they want, and they would generally recommend us to other people, right, then that is considered good fulfillment, okay, that is a good fulfillment, all right, however, you can't do fulfillment if you don't have traffic and acquisition, okay, and so most of the time, uh, people build companies by uh, having the fulfillment, and then they don't have traffic and acquisition, and then they just explode. Okay, so I don't want you to have this situation. I don't want you to face this mistake and do this mistake. And so I want you to really, really understand traffic and acquisition. That is why uh, this entire channel is, or and that is why uh, the company like gettingpaid.io is helping people acquire, helping people convert that traffic into money, basically. Okay, getting people paid. Okay, yeah. So this is basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you, have, if you have any questions about this topic. Okay, and feel free to check out the links down below um, and subscribe to our free email newsletter as well at gettingpaid.io. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.